In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite gun bunch defenses in Madden 22. This is a great blitz. It's really good against pretty much any formation, but I love it against the gun bunch. And it's from the nickel 335 odd. Now, you can find this formation in a lot of playbooks. I like to use it out of the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Now, real quick, before we go any further into the video, I actually have a full ebook out on the nickel 335 odd. If you want to get my entire 335 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the comment section below. You can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks. Now the play that we're gonna be going over in this video, like I said, is going to be the Tampa two or really any play in the formation. I like to use uh, cover two sync or Tampa two uh, for this. And how we're gonna set this up pretty simple is we are simply going to spread our defense and then we're going to press coverage, globally blitz our linebackers and we're gonna crash our D line to the right. So as you see here, this is pretty much what the defense looks like. And then I'm free to go ahead and simply put my user on this zone. Now what I like to do with my user is essentially run at the center, hit the X button, and then bail into coverage just like this. And as you can see, we're gonna get double pressure at the quarterback. Now the beauty of this blitz is not just that it's a good five man pressure against Gun Bunch if they send five out. It's actually a really good pressure against Gun Bunch if they uh, block, for example, a delay fade. So I'm going to put a delay fade on the field here. I'm going to stand kind of, I like to stand kind of right here. And what you're going to see is if they delay fade, oftentimes that delay fade will glitch out. And as you can see, the pressure will come in. Again, the setup is really simple. Uh, I just simply spread my defense. And then I like to go ahead and press coverage, globally blitz my linebackers, crash my line to the right. And then I'm going to put my user on a zone and kind of stand just right over the tight end so that I can glitch out the delay fade. And as you'll see here, the snap of the ball, that time we didn't get the delay play gitch, but as you can see, we're still able to get pretty significant pressure. Now, the beauty of this is it's also really, really effective against Gun Bunch if they block a running back. So I'm going to show you what happens whenever the opponent blocks a running back. I will say this is the best chance they have at picking this pressure up, but oftentimes I have found this is still going to be very problematic for the offense. As you can see right there, the running back basically dumbs out to go to that linebacker. And then as you can see, we're able to get the pressure to loop around the edge. So again, we're going to spread our defense, globally spread our defense. We're going to then press coverage, crash our line to the right, globally blitz our linebackers, and we're gonna put our user in a purple zone and kind of stand over here for any kind of run game that they might use. And what you'll see is if I block a running back, we're gonna have pretty good consistency at getting the looping pressure right around the edge. And the other reason that I like this defense a lot is because it's not just good against a blocked running back, it's good against a blocked tight end, it's also good against a max protect. So I'm gonna show you a max protect setup. Again, I'm just gonna globally spread my defense, uh, globally bless my linebackers, crash my defensive line to the right. I'm gonna stand kind of right here with my user, and I'm gonna go ahead and block my running back and delay fade my tight end. And what you should see here is we're gonna get really, really glitchy pressure coming right around that left edge at the quarterback. Now, I will tell you that if you have a player up there, I'm using the Chargers, because they don't have super fast uh, linebackers like the Cardinals do. But if they, if you have someone over there like in Mutt, where you have a safety there, or even like a Ted Hendricks or something, you're going to be able to get yourself some pressure. So I'll show you this again. And as you see there, we're able to get the pressure to come looping around the edge for the sack. Again, this is one of my favorite defenses in the entire game because one of the beauties of the cover two sync is the matching principles that it contains within it. So the beauty is you don't always you don't only get a really good blitzing concept, but you also get this vertical hook and soft squat combination, which is one of my favorite defenses for when my opponent likes to try to streak some players up the seams. You'll see that that vertical hook will do a really good job of jamming him. And, relate, and, and following him up the seams. It's one of my favorite reasons why I really do love this uh, cover two sync defense because it really does a good job. Um, it really does a good job against the gun bunch. So again, let me show you the setup again. Here's your blitz. And then what I like to do as far as the running back goes, like if the running back goes on a quick out, I'm just gonna like speed burst out there. And I'll tell you, I get a lot of interceptions on that right there. Um, when they see you running down like that and then they see you use that little turbo speed burst glitch um, It's very very going it's going to be very uh, just difficult for them to uh, Stop it now. I will show you one other setup that you can do with this and that is to man that left of screen guy up On the running back and I sometimes can get this pressure to come around I don't always get this blitz to come in as you can see right there the max protect was able to block it obviously if they put their running back on a route this is a little bit better because it's going to keep you safe against a blocked running back. Uh, the problem becomes, is like I said, when the running back blocks, 
Um, but when if the, if the running back goes out on a route, then you're going to have a really good opportunity to make a play. So, anyways, let me show you this blitz one more time. And as you can see, it, it doesn't always come in around the edge if you do that. Uh, that's why I like to go ahead and just super – I like to send five – and just kind of guarantee myself that I'm going to be able to get the pressure out of the 335 odd. Now, in the ebook, we do show you a couple of different situations where you can get this pressure to come in. Um, you can you can do some other things to get this blitz to come in a little bit more consistently, um, especially you know when they start to block people and all that. I will say that you can drop that defensive end right there, like into a hard flat. And oftentimes, I find that that still is going to guarantee you pressure against max protect. It's just a little bit weaker against the run. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, if you want to get my full 3-3-5 odd defense, I think this is one of the most underrated defenses in the game. There's a lot of really good pressure to be had out of this formation, and I think it's significantly better against the run than the 2-4-5 odd, as well as it has a couple of different types of coverages that the 2-4-5 odd doesn't contain, and a whole different package situational adjustment that you can use to be able to lock things down. So thanks for watching the video. Like I said, if you want to get the entire two or three, three, five odd defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks. There's a link down there. All you got to do is go down and click that link. It'll take you right over to the website where you'll be able to get the guide for just 15 bucks.